Here's a quick video showing how I change the colour of my digital stamps in Word. I use um, version 2007, so if yours looks a little different, don't worry, you should still be able to find the commands okay. Okay, I've inserted my image and resized it, changed the margins and have it ready, ready for printing. And now I'd like to change the colour. You can do this very easily with some basic preset colours by right clicking on your image going down to format picture and here you see a drop down arrow now if you change oh, I'll move this over slightly if you change the or click on the bottom row you'll see you'll change the color of the outline while still leaving the background white so you can pick your options along here but as you can see there's only a certain amount of options for example there's a red but there's no pink so I had to find a way around this. This may not be the best way to do it, but this is uh, how I found. Because if you click on page layout here, uh, there's an option there that says colors. And it has some built-in color themes. So there's a pink there. So if I click on this pastel theme, then go to format picture again, click on the recolor box. And here it's, put in that theme ending with that pink that I looked at. Now that's a bit of a dusky pink for me. I'd like something a bit more vibrant. So let's go back to colors again. Let's have a look at the presets. Uh, there's one down here, but that's a bit of a cerise. Okay. So as you can see, I've actually set up some, some custom themes here. And how you do that is you go here to create new theme colors, click on there, and here you can change each of those colors in your, to create a new theme. Okay, so just click in the box of accent one here. It's given you some suggestions, but if you click on more colors, let's see what we can do. Okay, here are the pinks, so you could click here. And then that is your preview box just there. Shows you what it's at now and what it would change to. And you can slide this little slider up and down to create a lighter or a darker shade or for a much quicker option this is what I normally do actually is click on standard up here and it's got a certain amount of options so I'll just click on each of these go to standard I clicked that one last time click on that one and then set up a new theme for myself and what this means is I can keep coming back to this because it will be saved and use it over, over and over. Uh, so some dark ones. And the last one. Okay. So now I go down to format picture and here we are. Here are the colors that I chose. Okay, these are actually looking a bit purpley. So you might find when they're printed out, it's not exactly what you thought of, but you can go back and place your heart's content and print out whatever color you like. It's certainly better than having plain old black. And it means that you can pick a color that's similar to the, um, say, markers um, or pencils or whatever you'll be using to actually color in your picture. Well, I hope that's given you a bit of an idea on how you can play around with your digital stamps and have a bit more flexibility with them.